So continuing with sets, um, we can have two different sets, but then combine them into one set. So we can have a lot of different sets, and then we want to find like a common, find commonality, or find the differences, or find everything but that set, right? So those are the things we're going to talk about. So in my notes, I do have something like a dinner party. And a dinner party is something so simple. So you have a roommate and you decide to have a dinner party. Well, your your roommate has its own circle of friends, right? It has your roommate's friends that you've never met before. And then it has your friends, right? Which are friends that your roommate has never met before and these groups of friends are independent of each other because like they may not know each other but then because you're roommates and you go to the same college you're like oh let's invite so and so from our bio class so then that friend knows both of you so that friend is part of your circle of friends and your roommate circle of friends so now there's some commonality so there are friends that are not a part of each other of each other's circles right and there are friends that are a part of, of both of your circles so the ones all your friends that come and sit down and have dinner all of them despite if they know each other that's called the union of your friends those are, that's the union set the ones that you guys know and the friends know each other, know both of you that's your commonality common friends right that's the intersection of your circle of friends and then hopefully we don't have any friends that are neither of your circle of friends show up like the guy down the street that hears there's a party going on that you have no idea who he is that let's hope that that person doesn't come but that would be called a compliment of your circle of friends okay so let's just start off with a, this I like the union as a simple example so let's start with just union the union of two sets contains all elements contained in either set so or both so essentially what you're doing is you're taking all your roommates friends and all your friends whether you have some in common or not it's just you're taking the whole group and sitting them down for dinner that's the union and they may get to know each other after dinner but the union is everybody's friends so we tend to say okay well that means the word or is associated so a or b or both um, and we want um, all elements Oops. okay and then there's the symbol union with the cup okay so um, the union is notated if you have sets a and b so we would say this is a union B. That's how we would say it in English words. More formally, if X is an element in, in the union, then X is, well, if X is in, a un, um, in the union of A and B, and the union of two sets is all the elements, well, that means that element had to be your friend, your roommate's friend, or both your friends, right? You had this friend that was both of your friend you and your roommates friends so it had to be either one of those right it had to be your friend your roommates or somebody or that person knew both of you so if I use like a set of colors for the next example we could find the a union B now a union B means that we're gonna take once again all the elements in both the sets now some elements yes may be in the in both but that's okay we won't write them twice we'll just write that color once because we don't want to see pink pink orange orange like we if pinks in it pinks in it there's only one pink right so a union B would be all the elements in a and all the elements in B so I'll go ahead and list all of a because no matter what we're taking a so orange yellow red blue and then take all the elements in B now one thing I notice is I see orange as the element in B but then orange is orange is an A and it's here so I'm not gonna write it again I'm not gonna do orange orange so one orange is good enough um, brown I don't see any brown here so I'm gonna go ahead and write brown 
Uh, purple, I don't see any purple in set A or green, so I'll write those three down. So there's the first union. The second union would be B union C. So B union C means that we're going to take all the elements in B and all the elements in C. So let me go ahead and just list B pretty quickly. So I have orange, brown, purple, green. Oops, no, I'm not done. <laughs> and that's B, and let me union C with it. And again, I'm just going to list everything in C, because B union C means all the elements in B and all the elements in C put together. But if any colors are repeating, I just won't write them again. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. So C has pink, so we don't have pink in there. Brown we already have written down, so we got that one. Red we don't. Um, yellow, no, let me write that down. Orange we do already have, perfect. And then purple we already have, so we are done. Okay, so again, the union is just everything, and then you just write them all down, and then the ones that repeat just don't write again. However, the intersection is a little bit more stricter. I always say the union is like Google. It's like, oh, take everybody, inclusiveness, and I feel like intersection is very um, exclusive. It's like, nope, sorry, we're only taking common friends. It's like your roommate saying, no, I don't want anybody I don't know here. We're only inviting the friends that we both know. And so it's only that commonality. So it's quite strict. Um, and so intersection is where you have the intersection of two sets are have to be in both sets. You don't get I, either or, or both. It has, it is only both. So the intersection is noticed as A, and then we call it a cap, so cap B. So um, we will say A intersect B. That's how we would say it in the English language. More formally, um, once again, if we say an element is in the intersection, it is not like, oh, I want like the union, oh, one or the other, cool, right? No, it is strict. It says if it, if it X is an element in the intersection, so if you have an element in an intersection, that means it has to be in both sets. So here it's saying if X is in the intersection, then X has to be in A and it has to be in B. No choice, it has to be in both. So you can see it's a little more strict. So if I took the intersection here of the same set of colors and I wanted to intersect A and C, I can't just list a whole bunch. At this point, I have to look at all the elements in A and all the elements in C and see which ones I have in common. So I would look at A and look, first look at orange and see if orange is in C. And I can see that orange is an element in A, and orange is also an element in C. So orange is going to be in my intersection. I see that yellow is an element in A, and also an element in C. And therefore, yellow is in the intersection. I see that red is an element in A, and red is an element in C and therefore red is the el is an element in the intersection. I see blue and I look for blue here and I notice blue is an element in A but not an element in C. So that means that blue is not an element in the intersection and that goes for pink, brown, and purple. Pink, brown, and purple are not in A and therefore not in the intersection. So the only elements in the intersection of A and C are the ones that are in both, which would only be orange, yellow, and red. Part two says um, the intersection of B and C. So B and C, I'll do in a different color. Let me write B intersection C. 
And therefore, we need to um, look at the elements in B and look at the elements in C, and whichever one, um, colors are in both sets are in the intersection. So the inner B, the element in, in B will start with orange. I do see orange as an element in B, and orange is an element in C. Therefore, orange will be in an element in the intersection of B and C. Brown is in B and also in C, and therefore brown will be in the intersection. Purple is in B and purple is also in C, and therefore purple will be in the intersection. And then I get to green, and I notice green is an element of B, but not in C, and therefore, since green is not in C, then green will not be in the intersection. Because remember, intersection is strict. It has to be in both. So then, if I go to C, I see what's left over here, and I see pink, red, and yellow is left over here, and pink, red, and yellow are not in B, and therefore, same rationale, right? If it's not in both, then they're not in the intersection. So the only colors that are in the intersection of B and C is orange, brown, and purple. Okay, and just to recap, recall that the union is our elements that in, can be in one set or the other or in both. It's just wherever it is altogether, it has to be somewhere. Where the intersection has a specific location, it says, no, 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 it can't be everywhere. It has to be in this small little piece that is in the intersection. It's the common friends between your roommate and yourself, right? It has to be in both. So if you have an element in the intersection, it has to be in both this set over here and this set over here. So it's a little more strict. Okay.